the prosperity gospel would have you believe that Jesus Christ was a wealthy man, not the man described in Matthew 8, 19 through 20, where he sa it says a certain scribe came to him. And he said, teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus gave him a little bit of reality check there and says that Jesus said to him, really? Foxes have holes and birds are there. They have a nest. But the son of man has nowhere to even lay his head. This man of sorrows, acquainted with grief, who was, was, was from the most lowly place, he intentionally came to this planet and took on the form of a servant, not of a king. Was not a man who had Judas his treasure walk around just to carry his money bags because he was so rich. That is a distortion in order to sub substantiate and support a, th a theology that we are all supposed to be kings and rich in this world. There's too much scripture that says and points to the opposite. Don't fall for the prosperity message in its, its glaring glitter. In its gaudy ugliness. Gilded chairs and costume and bling hanging off every part of their flesh driving in their fancy cars I have no problem against a fancy car I got one I paid what did we pay around forty five hundred dollars for it that was a great one man it's one of the best cars I ever had someday when that thing dies and goes to hell <laughs> Some of you have ridden me and thought you were in hell. I might even get a better one for 5000 Well, inflation is probably 7000 now because they crushed all the good ones. All my cars, they crushed. The same man said in Matthew 6, 19 through 21, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moss and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moss nor rust, rust nor doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. What do you talk about? What do you talk about? You talk about your snowmobiles and all your glitter and stuff. I tell you what, you can get, to be honest, guys, I can find out where you're at by your conversation. And the world can too. Don't, you can't just turn on Christianity and, you know, once a week and go, okay, I'm just the light of the world. Don't deceive yourself. Uh, this isn't a happy.